one of my very best friends, he got up one morning, he was in a prayer meeting, and he prayed this prayer. He said, Lord, if it would shake the youth, I believe he said the youth of the nation, I'd give my life. He said, I'd give my life today if it would shake the youth of the nation. And he died that night in a car accident. He was one of the youth leaders. And later I became one of the youth leaders. And we were incredibly distraught by his death because everybody loved him so much. Um, and I, but at the same time, we knew he offered a precious sacrifice for something we believed in. We believed that a movement was going to rise from his death. I mean, not like Jesus or anything, but he said, Lord, if I, if it would shake the youth of a nation, I'd give my life. And the Lord accepted that. So we have to believe that if the Lord responded to that first part of the prayer, I'd give my life and he'd respond to the second part of the prayer. Well, I became a youth pastor and for three years, I thought, when is this movement going to start? When is this going to happen? And I worked with a bunch of really awesome, wonderful kids and some awesome stuff happened, but a youth movement didn't happen. And years later, I felt like everybody had forgotten. I thought they'd forgotten about him. And I was the only one. I thought, Lord, what's the deal? Three years and nothing from this death. And then uh, several months ago, I was playing at a conference, and Lou was there. And we were playing, and he leaned over to me and said, let's, let's sing this in a stadium. And I kept ringing in my head, let's sing this in a stadium. What I realized, the day after he died, I woke up, and I wrote this song the very next day. And it's not my song, but the song has had wings <laughs> everywhere it goes. I get emails from kids who have been delivered. I have people who have been saved just by listening to the song. And if this song, this has nothing to do with me. Maybe I am arrogant, but I'm not arrogant in this. Is that I truly believe that this song is in some way a fulfillment to his prophecy, Lord. If you would shake the youth of the nation, I'd give my life. So he died, and out of his death I wrote this song. It's not even a worship song. It's a story about a guy named Stephen who meets the Lord for the first time after he's died. But I sing it like a worship song. Because I believe this song is going to shake the youth of a nation. And whether it shakes the youth of a nation tonight or some other time, I have to believe that it's going to shake the youth of a nation. So would you sing it with me to the Lord, but also as an intercession for the lost and the broken who need to know the true, real, deep love that only Jesus has to offer.